welcome to my kitchen or welcome back if you've been here before it's good to see you i hope everyone is really well now this week has been a bit funny because we were on holiday last week we went to visit my family in the isle of man it was amazing and because of that we we didn't need that much food last week so we weren't really at home but we got back on sunday on the ferry it was fabulous whilst we were in the isle of man i did pop to Shoprite, which if you've ever been there is a Manx supermarket. There are a couple across the island, I think. And whilst I was, we went in there to get a couple of specific things, but I was also having a bit of a nose, and I'll, I'll insert some clips um, at the prices in there because I know that they're higher. But it's been a while since we've been across, so I did want to check them out. And ouch, ouch! Oh my God! <laughs> wow, the prices are higher. Which makes sense because it's a little island in the middle of the Irish Sea. So you have to get stuff there that costs money. It does make sense. The prices on the Manx stuff were pretty good. And I did pick up things like milk and whatnot to bring back with us on the ferry the following day. So that was great. But things like a little tube of tomato puree that my mum asked me last week to get like nine from Aldi for her. I'm pretty sure they're 45 pence in Aldi or something like that. They're less than 50 pence anyway, I know that. 95 pence over there, double the price, it's insane. So, mm, there's that. They do have adorable shopping trolleys though. They do, they're tiny. I don't know how my mum copes because she's the sort of person that would take two trolleys around Aldi, so. Anyway, we did also, because it was me and my mum, we can't help ourselves, we did go to a few charity shops didn't buy an awful lot, was slim pickings to be honest, but I did get a bit of a giggle because I was looking for jeans for Ed. Um, so just trawling through the racks, trying to find the right size for him. And I came across this one pair of jeans where the fly was already open and um, it's got a little, little label on it that I thought, uh, ooh, hmm. <laughs> No, we, we did not buy those. We did not. So now that we're back in the UK, I've got the bits that I bought from ShopRite. Didn't buy much. Ed wanted some Manx beer. Fair enough. Uh, bought some milk. And the main thing I went there for was my mum had made us this meatball dish with frozen gluten-free Swedish meatballs that she'd found at ShopRite. I bought four bags and I know that's mad, right? But hear me out, the bags are huge. They have like 90 meatballs in each bag and it was two for 12 pounds. So I spent 24 pounds on meatballs. I know, right? That's, yeah. Mm. But for this week, I put in a Sainsbury's order for collection, which was a little bit frustrating because I got to the collection point at Sainsbury's and there was no, there was no collection thing. Uh, it disappeared. And after about 10 minutes, uh, the guy rang me and he said, oh, I'm very sorry, but uh, because of the adverse weather conditions, you need to come into the store to come and get it. I'm like, oh, okay, kind of evades the whole point, but fine. Adverse weather conditions was heavy frost, by the way. But anyway, he was lovely. He helped me out to the car. He was a, a lovely, lovely chap. So we got it all sorted. I spent £40.73, so sticking on the low side. Quite pleased with that. Let's have a look at what we've got. So what I've tried to do this week is go through what I already have in the freezer and come up with a meal plan from that. So this Sainsbury's order is just to fill the gaps with things I need to make this meal plan. I have most of it, so good start. And this is what I got from Sainsbury's. There um, was only one substitution. I'd ordered a 12 pack of eggs and they've given me 15. And the way that Sainsbury's works is they don't give you the, the cash back necessarily. But what they do is they um, give you a voucher for the difference for next time. So, yeah, that, that's fine. It is mostly fresh stuff. We were on holiday last week. So anything in the fridge that was not going to last until we got back, I just took with me and my mum used it whilst we were there. And I did, let's start over here. I ordered a bag of spinach. And it's not looking great, to be honest. It's clearly been squished. So I'm going to use most of it today, so hopefully it will be okay. But I mentioned it to the guy who was running the collection point and said, oh, I'm not really happy with the state of this. Not in a 
a grumpy way, but just sort of a, oh, that's not great. And he agreed. So he very kindly refunded me this, but said, look, if you can use it today, great, because otherwise it'll just go in the bin, it's a waste. So that was really good of him. I really appreciated that. So we've got some spinach. That's going to go in a vegetarian lasagna today. I really like kale. I'm one of those people. And Cabello Nero kale is lovely. It is the season for kale. So normally I grow loads of it, but we didn't get the garden up and running because we only moved here in July. So we've got some kale to use. That's exciting. The watercress is going to go in a feta and watercress quiche that I'm going to make this weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. I am going to be starting to do freezer meals and I want to try doing some freezer instant pot meals where basically you make one meal but you double the recipe and, and freeze half of it uncooked. Um, you know, sort of six sisters if you've ever watched that channel, that sort of stuff in preparation for baby arriving. So I've got some more gallon, uh, are they gallon? I don't know. The large anyway. Yeah, the the big freezer bags anyway. Got us some pears, they look lovely. Down here, these were I think 85 pence, but all the prices will be on the screen, so if I'm talking rubbish, hopefully I can correct myself. Um, I got four of these, because they are suitable for freezing. Ed's just really enjoying having a break from sandwiches for work and is using pasties, sausage rolls, things like that instead. So I've got some minced beef and onion puff pastry pies and steak puff pastry pies. They're a great size for a little lunch. And again, I think 85 pence, so not expensive per lunch, really. I'm really glad I ordered two broccolis instead of one, because these are teeny, teeny, tiny broccolis. <laughs> not that impressed with those. Um, celery, always use celery, need a lot of those. Uh, I think I'm out of gluten-free bread in the freezer, so I did order some bread for me. And i uh, got some milk. I'm going to have to pick up more milk, but I don't like to get too much of it in one go. I don't drink cow's milk myself. I just don't like it. It's personal preference. So to me, cow's milk always smells off, even though it's not. So, yeah, I just I tend not to buy a lot in one go. because <laughs> I worry that I wouldn't be able to tell it was off and then I'd give it to Freya. Cherries. Freya loves cherries. I love cherries. They were an okay price, I think, if I remember rightly. Got some peppers, uh, some carrots. Uh, these are for recipes rather than snacking, but I'm sure Freya will eat plenty of these as well. Dates have gone really expensive. Uh, I generally, I love dates anyway. I would eat them all year round. And I know they're really popular and, and really easy to get a hold of around Eid. Um, but unfortunately, at the moment, the price seems to have shot through the roof. And it's, I don't know if it's a bit of an old midwife's tale, but apparently eating dates towards the end of your pregnancy helps things go a little smoother. So let's see how it goes. Got us some lovely apples. This is my feta to go in the watercress and feta quiche that I'm going to make this weekend. Of course, we have salad for the tortoise. A slightly battered cauliflower. It'll cook up fine. Asparagus. I've had a bit of a craving for it ever since I bought uh, all of that asparagus to take to my mum's. We didn't eat it while she was there. Rude. A giant cucumber. This is ridiculous, but it will take Freya a couple of days to eat that. A 15 count of eggs. Uh, again, the fact that we keep getting substitutions. I don't think the egg crisis is easing anytime soon. Obviously, the, the horrible effects of bird flu are just... Oh, it's just awful, isn't it? It's just sad. Got some golden delicious apples as well. Freya is going through an orange phase. Did Picasso have an orange phase? Was it just a blue phase? I don't know. She's having an orange phase. She's really enjoying oranges. So I bought some for her. And from a purely selfish point of view, this is really annoying because oranges are annoying to peel. But the things we do, eh? Got some corn flour because I used all of my making cloud dough the other day. Rather lovely looking bananas. And then the final thing that I got, this wasn't a big shop at all really, was I did get a couple of tins of baked beans and four tins of chopped tomatoes. I go through those like you wouldn't believe I'm going to use three today to make lasagna anyway. 
the beans. I don't seem to have many in. And last time I went to Aldi, they didn't have the ones I wanted in. They were totally sold out. The pallet was bare. So is there a global bean shortage now? That's niche, isn't it? I don't know. But the Hubbard's brand is the one that they price matched to Aldi. So I felt okay getting quite a few of those in. That is everything that I bought this week. Let me know what's on your agenda for meal planning this week. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. Bye.